Hi there, today we're going to be looking at how to paint a sunset and I'm going to be taking you through the process that I go through including from the darker tones in the foreground through to the mid-tones in the sky and then of course to the all-important highlights in the sun itself. So first let's have a look at the palette we're going to use today. Ultramarine Blue, Alizarin Crimson, Burnt Sienna, Yellow Ochre, Cadmium Yellow Medium, Cadmium Red and Titanium White. So firstly I'll take some of this Burnt Sienna and just thin it down with some thinner and make a sketch. A very quick one just to kind of get an idea of how I want the composition to be. Putting in a tree there and then just looking at the layers of the foreground and just hinting at some patterns in the clouds up there. And then I'll bring in some linseed oil and some thinner to make up a medium and just mix it up in the top of this jar here. And that will make the paint go a little further. So we can first start looking at a dark mix with some ultramarine blue, some alizarin crimson and some burnt sienna. Just to get a general dark mix really and block that in as quickly as possible. Not worrying about details as always and just bring in a bit of shrubbery here in the foreground and a plant that will give a little bit of depth to the composition. Just making up a slightly lighter mix for the fields in the foreground using some yellow ochre and titanium white added to that dark mix. I'm blocking that in as well. Really not worrying about any details, just blocking that in, adding a little bit of titanium white for some variation here and there. And now looking at a mix for the grass in the foreground and bringing in some ultramarine blue to some yellow ochre just to kind of get a dark green mix and also making up a darker green mix by the side of that so that'll get some nice variation and it will give a little bit of depth to that grass there in the foreground And also just trying to remember to keep the tonal values similar here in the foreground so here just looking at the grass compared to the plant in the front of the painting there and just making adjustments and seeing okay that needs to be a little bit darker there so I'll just go in and bring in a little bit of a darker mix over the top also because I really want the sky to stand out as much as possible And here's a mix for the sky, which is some of that darker mix earlier, mixed with some titanium white. And here just adding some burnt sienna just to tone down the purpleness a little bit within the colour. And adding a little bit more titanium white to increase the value. Just testing it out as well and seeing how it sits against the darkness of the tree there and I can always adjust this value later on if I think it needs to be a little lighter but it seems to be okay for now. And as I'm getting a little bit closer to the sun over here I'm also bringing in a little bit of cadmium red just to kind of get that red glow that's emanating from the sun. So you get that nice contrast between the warmer colours around the sun and the cooler colours of the sky towards the outer edge of the painting. And then just adding a slightly redder mix in here as the rays of the sun are starting to hit the clouds. You seem to get a kind of redder mix when, the, when that happens so I'm just bringing that in here.
and just keeping the shapes as simple as possible, looking at the big shapes of the clouds, not getting too bogged down in the details at the moment. And then looking at a warmer colour for the top of the painting, where the clouds are a lot warmer, so bringing in some cadmium yellow, some titanium white and some cadmium red. And as I was doing before, I'm just blocking in that colour as quickly as I can really, so that I can cover the whole panel and see where the values are sitting with each other. bringing in some of that warmer mix against the cooler colour of the sky there. And just looking for the subtle differences in tone as the light from the sun is emanating outwards into the clouds above. And also just starting to blend some of those warmer colours into the cooler colours, just to kind of get that nice synergy between the two in the sky. And then looking at a colour for around the sun, using some cadmium red and titanium white just kind of get that nice red glow that you get around the sun during a sunset. And just starting to blend a little bit more now just kind of to soften up those clouds. And here I'm looking at a colour for the sun itself, so that kind of yellowy, warm glow that you get from the sun at sunset. And trying to make as few brush strokes as possible really with this large brush, but also staying pretty specific with the shape of the sun there, keeping it slightly oblong shaped. And I also noticed that there was a glow on the tree line there, so I'm bringing in some cadmium red as well, which will set that off nicely against the darker tree line. And now just making some small adjustments to the painting really, just to try and get the whole thing to sit well together. And here's the finished painting. And I think the most important things to consider when painting a sunset is really trying to get that contrast between the sky and the foreground. So going pretty dark in the foreground so that the sky really stands out and that you get those really nice contrasts between the warm and the cooler colours. That's what really sets off the dramatic feel of the sunset. So I hope you found this useful. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.